dog, my fucking cat, my pain in the ass cat. I tell you to go fuck yourself if it meant fucking having to take care of them before anything else. So that's just my nature. I don't give a fuck. I don't like working for corporations. I'm never happy. And now I am a master distributor for a potato chip company, which sounds like a big doozy, but you know, I'm struggling to build a business. So that's what it's about. Within the next couple of months, I get a raise. I get, you know, I got things going on. I scraped my fucking truck today picking up chips. But you guys don't want to hear about that. You want to hear about music, and that's why you're fucking here. So with that said, here's Crash the Party by Five Star Hooker. Congratulations on your fucking Jay Stoney Award. I'm Jay Stoney, live from Tarpon Springs, Florida. Merry fucking Christmas, bitches. Crack is be salty.
but we've had some technical difficulty right there, and I apologize for the dead air. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, the mic is fucking back to doing what it wants on this internal thing here, so I apologize. But we're about to kick 2017 in the ass, and I apologize for the dead air. We're saying goodbye to 2016. And it was a great year. I appreciate everybody's hard work and all the stuff they did. Um, Johnny O, Ugly, Ricky Parker, Prickly Rickly, Cats and Yama, Alicia, all the guests, all the people who've done promos, everybody that's tuned in. So I don't know how much time I lost there off the air. But um, for some reason, the the board, the automated board, the mic wouldn't fucking unmute for me. And it took a minute there, and I honestly don't know what the fuck happened. Things don't like to click right. And, of course, it's got to happen on the last show of the year. So make sure um, if you're going to replay it that you stick through that part there. I apologize. But people will think it was an Internet connection when it was a stupid automated system. It, it could have been that what froze it, but this Internet connection has been pretty solid since, since I have uh, a brand new day in front of me. Fuck them. Um, so again, we're saying goodbye to 2016 going into 2017. We're going to punch in the teeth. We're going to bring you some new stuff. Um, I, I, everybody's asking me why I haven't booked any guests. It's, it's because it's very redundant. Um, we're just going over the same stuff at this point with just the different band members. And I, I think I needed a break and to be rejuvenated on the show and, um, just be able to do the show without having to worry about meeting someone on the air and getting all the shit together. Honestly, it's just a pain in the ass. And that technical difficulty right there is what reminded me of one of the reasons why I didn't book any guests, basically, after Little Ozzy. I just did what was already booked. It's because I, I felt a little bit embarrassed for some of the episodes, like that fucking little stint of fucking technical difficulty right there. So, you know... It, it is what it is. Um, we'll book some guests next year. We'll have Steve Haley back on the show. We'll see what he's up to. Um, we'll check in with maybe guys in Misery Kills. And, and we'll get some new people on the show. It's just, you know, how many people can I beg to be on the show? I was supposed to have um, been trying to get one of the members of Marilyn Manson for over a year. At certain points, I just I, I got to give up and say, hey, the guy just really doesn't want to be on the show. Um, so it's not for some people. I mean, it's just one of those fucking things that you have to deal with doing the show and all, all the interviews I've done in the past nine years, I've done so many fucking interviews. It's just, it's like, it's like, really, I just, uh, it drives me nuts that sometimes Howard Stern has two guests three days a week. It's just the same shit. It makes me not want to listen. And I, I really don't want to do that. I want to have a switch up. Now, when there's a guest that's coming on, it's going to be better promoted. It's it's going to be more refreshing. Um, <clears throat> just numerous things about it that I needed a break from it. So let's play some more Five Star Hooker. Here is the song Five Star Hooker by Five Star Ho. Jay Stone, rockmetaltalk.com.
She said 